During the ethnic cleansing of Palestine in 1948, the Zionist forces and later the Israeli soldiers committed crimes of sexual violence and rape against Palestinian women and girls. We don't have uh, uh, the exact number and we don't know all the locations because uh, uh, Palestinian women uh, in, uh, uh, from a traditional period find it very difficult to share this information. However, three uh, uh, Palestinian women historian, uh, Asis Nusser, Nadir Ashal Huk of Kiyan and Rauda Kanane, were able to interview some women who were, who were ready to share with them the horrific experience and from their uh, research, we understand uh, that this was a widespread uh, phenomenon. Uh, uh, I uh, interviewed quite a lot of Palestinians around the Haifa uh, area, and I had also quite clear indication that there were individual cases uh, of rape and sexual uh, harassment. So to sum up this point, we can say that it was widespread, but we will never know the accurate number of victims or the accurate number of locations. There is one case that gives us a certain indication of how far such a behavior can, 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 can go. There is a famous case very well substantiated by documentation of a Palestinian girl of the age of 12 that was abducted by Israeli soldiers and kept for three days as a sex slave and a sex slave and was a gang rape before, the, uh, before she was murdered. Uh, and that shows that this uh, brutality is not beyond uh, Israeli uh, soldiers uh, or, or before that uh, Zionist uh, troops. And as we know from experience of women in the occupied West Bank uh, uh, and before that in the occupied Gaza Strip, uh, unfortunately this uh, uh, kind of sexual cr criminal uh, or, or crime, crimes of, uh, of, of uh, rape and sexual harassment uh, continued uh, from 1948 until today